All right, there, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna pop open a couple of these hives. <laughs> See if they're capping any of this honey. Uh, this time of year, there's really not much out there for the bees. And uh, this can get get some serious robbing going. I haven't looked in these hides in a while. So I don't know what I'm gonna find. Uh, doesn't look like they're doing a lot up here. They may be consuming everything. May not be any honey. They may uh, took it all already. Lots of bees, but no honey. All this honey's gone. Well, I may not get any honey. This is a large large hive and it uh, took a uh, takes a lot of resources <laughs> to uh, get them through a dearth when they're a large colony and that looks like that's what happened here they uh, they consumed all their honey and when you don't get that uh, get it get anything uh, blooming for a month. So this hive may uh, may be starving. some capped honey. Not a lot, but it's like they all moved it down. So I gotta get these buttoned up. See, uh, just by opening that one hive, this is, there's no 
honey in this box. It's just a honeycomb and a propolis. And uh, you can see what kind of a, a robin frenzy you can get going. These uh, frames here were, were full of honey when the flow started. They, uh, as the dirt set in, there was nothing for them forage for. They started moving the honey out of the supers down into the brood chamber. So uh, three supers were empty. Got, got some honey in these two. There's four frames, I think, in each box. Got a fume board on top. Try to push the bees out. But you can see there's more bees wanting to get in. That's what happens uh, when, you, <laughs> when you open up these hives after a, a long dearth. These bees, these bees smell that honey. And they uh, they go for it. See that hive? That box is empty. I shook all the bees off of it. Even the, the fume boards wasn't pushing the bees out. If I open another hive, all these bees are going to go to that hive and uh, try to rob the honey. Uh, as you can see folks, <laughs> I opened one hive and that's uh, the, the type of situation you run into after an extended dearth. You know, it uh, went for a little over a month without any rain, everything dried up, uh, the bees had nothing to forage on. All the honey that uh, they had uh, got in the early spring flow, blackberries and fruit trees and all that, they consumed everything down in the brood uh, boxes and uh, took all the honey out of the supers and uh, <laughs> consumed it. Uh, they did cap some. Uh, I had to get the, the hive down to a manageable position and I'll have to go through all those large hives and do the same thing, but uh, I'll probably find the same scenario in, in all those that have uh, three uh, supers on it. Those were, uh, really large hives at three uh, medium uh, eight frame boxes of brood which is supposed to be equivalent or close enough to, to two deep so there's a lot of bees there it takes a lot of resources to keep that hive going some of the, the hives I checked uh, last week some of the smaller hives the queen had already uh, reduced her laying uh, so the, the, she wasn't uh, producing as many eggs and I suspect that's just because there wasn't anything available for them to keep them uh, building up in numbers. So it was the queens had shut down for the, uh, for the dearth and uh, they'll, they'll probably build back up uh, a little bit this fall to get their numbers uh, to go into winter time. We may have a fall flow, I don't know. You, know it's, uh, you never know in Oklahoma. Uh, it's so unpredictable. So it's going to be uh, probably a small honey harvest this year. I was hoping to have a bumper crop, but uh, it looks like it's going to be kind of meager. <laughs> but that's that's the way it goes. You know, not only did uh, the bees uh, run out of food, even you know the cattle, the pastures were drying up. The grass wasn't uh, continuing to grow, so uh, you know they was uh, they was having to. Uh, to work a little harder, you know, to, to find enough to eat also, you know, it was just about on the verge of, of putting hay out, you know, in June. So it was, uh, it was getting pretty uh, bad here. A lot of people don't uh, understand how, just how quickly this area dries up. You know, the, the ground just does not hold the moisture. And with the heat and wind, it just, it just dries everything out. I don't know that I could have done anything different because it was a uh, it was the bees have uh, probably been consuming that honey for a while so it, uh, it started getting dry you know at the end of May so uh, you 
know, they've had the, the whole month of June to consume that because uh, they, they were not going to cap it. Uh, they did not have the, the resources, you know, to use for capping it. So they just started uh, consuming it. Anyway, uh, you know, beekeeping uh, has its up and down. You know, it's not, you know, I mean, it can turn into a job uh, really quick.